Okay, welcome back, EENG460, and I think last time we were doing a simple program that demonstrated the load immediate. In the bottom line there, it's just a quick and dirty way of getting values into registers. And in particular, we put 0 into the T0 register, 1 into the T1 register, 2 into the T2 register, and then 9 into the T9 register. Notice you have T, 10 of these uh, T registers. T stands for temporary. Okay, so um, I've loaded the program, and as we mentioned last time, this is the actual um, code that you typed into your uh, notepad document, all right? Now, you might say, well, wait a minute, what's this guy over here? Well, we'll explain that later, and it actually turns out that load immediate is a pseudo command, so I'll explain this stuff later on one on pseudo commands. But what you need to kind of know here is that this is the location in memory. The first command is located there, the next command is located here, the next command is located here. Notice that there's a difference of four between these. Well, each memory location accesses a byte, or references a byte, so four bytes, uh, four times eight is 32 bits, each of these instructions is 32 bits long. And then these are the hexadecimal 32 bits. So this is location 0040 quad zero, and that contains a 00, zero. then 0040001 contains this this 8 bits and then 0040002 contains this and then 0040003 contains this and then we get down here to 0040004 and that is this address right here and then this is 5 six, seven, and then down here we are at zero, zero, four, zero, eight, all right? So yeah, so it's uh, basically just a layout of memory where it's showing you four bytes at a time. All right, now let's go to our registers and we'll notice that our T registers right now are all zero. There's the first eight, and then here's the other two. So if I go back here and I run this, we showed this last time, now, you know, T0 has 0, T7 has 7, and then T8 and T9 are set at 8 and 9, respectively. Well, let's go back and modify our program, okay? So what I need to do is I need to go to my notepad file. And if I go to my notepad file, let's add some more stuff. Well, let's change this up. Let's copy and paste this guy. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it. So now what I'm going to do is... Um, Instead of doing 0, I'm going to uh, put some uh, bigger numbers in there. All right, so let's just put 16 bits into there. Okay. We'll keep the numbers the same, but what I'm doing is I'm putting 16 bits into those 32-bit registers. Yeah, there you go. All right, so now when I run it, it's going to initially um, load it up with 0, 1 through, 0 through 9, and then now it's going to do quad 0, quad 1, quad 2, quad 3, all the way up to quad 9, because those are 32-bit registers, and these are only 16-bit values. So the upper 16 are still going to be 0. All right, let's save that. Go back to QT spam, and what's the easiest way to get my new um, program in there? Well, it would be to go to File, Reinitialize, and load file because reinitialize is going to reset your program counter so you start at the beginning so reinitialize and load file okay what file do i want well i want my test.s and now notice in the text segment you know you have your original stuff but it also picked up my new stuff okay. now i'm just going to run this full bore and um now, notice I did reinitialize and load file. So when you go back and look at your registers now, notice your T registers are all reset to zero. Okay. Actually, all of them are reset. Okay, so now if I just click the play button, I'm going to run through here. Boom, we just ran it. Now let's go look at our registers. There you go. T1 is quad 1, T2 is quad 2, T3 is quad 3. 4 is quad 4, 5, 6, so forth, and register T9 is quad 9. There you go. So we've done uh, 16. Well, can we modify our program to put 32 bits into there? Well, I, I think we can. I think we can. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's copy this code. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, copy and paste. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these 32 bits. 
Okay, so I'm just going to add four more numbers. One, two, three, four. Oh, I should have made different numbers. This is hard to read. Okay, and then uh, and we'll do this. And we'll do uh, quad seven, quad seven, and yeah, that's the way you read that stuff. You don't say eight, 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 eight. You say quad eight, quad eight, quad nine, quad nine. There you go. All right. So now I'm putting sixteen bits into there. So um, let's save this guy. And notice, you know, the first part it's going to go through here and load up this, you know, numbers, and then the sixteen bit, and then when it gets done, it'll load all these guys. So I've saved my. Um, test.s, my assembly file. Uh, let's go up here and do file, reinitialize and reload, and we'll pick up the same file. And actually what I could do, can I just, um, I can actually come down here and say reinitialize simulator, and then I could just pick up recent file. Boom, there you go. So now you'll notice again that the T registers are all zero because we've reinitialized the simulator. If I go over to my text segment, well, you know, here's the code we did in the previous video. Here's the 16-bit code we just did a minute ago. And now here is the load immediate code that we just typed in. Let's go ahead and run this guy full bore. Boom. We just ran it. Okay, we're highlighting down here because we're done. Let's go look at our registers now. There you go. T1 is quad 1, quad 1. T2 is quad 2, quad 2. Quad 3, quad 3. Quad 4, quad 4. Quad 5, and so forth. So yeah, we did that. Let's go do one last thing here on this guy. And let's say, well, what happens if I come down to here? And let's uh, copy this guy. Now we'll just kind of uh, do a little experiment. And what happens if I put too many numbers in there? Let's do this. Let's say. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that <clears throat> that's too big, right? Because a 32-bit number is eight hexadecimal digits, eight. But I've inadvertently typed too many. Okay? I've inadvertently typed too many, and, and this guy has a comment statement that doesn't matter. So now I'm trying to put actually 36 bits into a 32-bit register. Well, let's see what happens. I'm not sure. I think it's probably just going to eliminate four on one end or the other, but I don't know which end. All right, so let's go back to here. Reinitialize simulator, uh, recent files, and come over here to my text segment and notice it picked up that extra instruction. It actually just brought it in. So I'm trying to put 36 bits into 32 bit register. Well, let's um, go back to our registers, and what we'll do is we'll pay attention to T9 right here. So let me click the play button. And notice what it did. It just ignored the upper four bits and it took the remaining 32 bits. So, you know, you can kind of get away with uh, being sloppy in your programming and maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. So it didn't really give you an error. It just said, okay, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. I'm going to ignore those four bits and then just take these 32 bits. So it wasn't even an error, but it still worked. But of course, it could cause some semantical problems in your program. All right, well, that's uh, enough of uh, load immediate. Um, we'll stop here, and uh, I'll see you next time.